بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم regarding islamic dietary directives the topic and uh, misconception that we're going to discuss today uh, relates to the killing of animals and obtaining food uh, for the purpose uh, it, it is uh, put forth by certain societies in, in certain societies in certain organizations uh, and they say that it is uh, in the in line of animal rights uh, animals have rights and one of these rights is that they should not be killed for food and this is something which is very very unjust and oppressive and If a person kills uh, an animal for food, then this is nothing uh, but savagery. And even the concepts of vegetarianism which have uh, arisen uh, in recent times and of course have been present ever since mankind was present have uh, one of the reasons for vegetarianism is that people think that uh, killing animals for food is something which is absolutely uncalled for and this is like taking the life of a living being and this, is, uh, this has not been allowed in any form and in any case. And um, uh, uh, if we go on to look at this misconception, we'll f- we will find that it has arisen simply because man has at times failed to benefit from divine guidance and from the guidance which God has revealed to them for this very purpose. Now, if you read the Quran, the Quran is very explicit. It says that these animals have been created for the benefit of man. They have been put to service for man. Thus, for example, we obtain milk from them. We use their hides. We use their other parts of body for our own purpose. And uh, one of these purposes uh, is that we obtain food from them. We slaughter them to obtain food for them. And the Quran has mentioned it, uh, this at, at many places. And one of the places mm, which it uh, explicitly says so is that, Allahu allazi ja'ala lakumul anama li tarkabu minha wa minha ta'kulun. It is God who has provided you with beasts that you may ride on some and eat the flesh of others. So as the verse itself says that it is God who has uh, uh, put... these animals into service of man and there are many benefits and many uses, uh, uses of these animals and one of these uses is that we slaughter them and, and use them as food so therefore if we slaughter these animals it's not like taking a, the life of a living being uh, vis-a-vis and equate it uh, for, for example to, the, to taking the life of a human being it is uh, like using this permission from God if God has created us he has created certain other living beings and, and it ha- he has sanctioned he has given permission that we can, we can use these uh, other hum- uh, uh, living beings uh, animals in particular for our own benefit and we can slaughter them and, uh, and, and, and kill them for food so it is primarily the uh, permission of God that we have in this regard and we cannot become more merciful than God Uh, God himself is the most merciful and if the, that merciful being has allowed us to take the life of animals then of course this is something which ha- we can benefit from uh, from at all costs and we also know that whenever we take the life of a of an animal we say takbir bismillah allahu akbar which itself signifies that we are we are slaughtering this animal in the name of God and in no other name and and of course um, this is one of the expressions of the permission that which has been granted and this shows that this is this uh, life is is being taken at the behest of God, from the permission of God. So therefore, it can be summed up that if we slaughter animals, if we kill animals from f- for food, then this is not uh, equivalent to taking human life. It's uh, not at all like that. And uh, we, we are doing this because primarily animals have been, they have been created for this very purpose. There are many purposes, uh, which all of which, of course, uh, relate to the service of man. But one particular purpose is that we can use these animals as food. We can kill them, we can slaughter them and use their meat and flesh uh, to eat food. And this is a divine permission which has been granted to us. And we cannot become more merciful uh, than the Creator. And we, we, we are absolutely, uh, it would be okay if we benefit from this permission. Akulu kawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisairil muslimina wal muslimat.